hello. Welcome to our Saturday Night Thrift Haul. We go live every Saturday at 8.30 Mountain Time. We show you the junk that we buy. We talk about what we're going to do with it, what we paid, what it'll sell for, and usually we answer a bunch of questions along the way. Yep. Always we answer a bunch of questions along the way. So if you're new here, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button if you love junk and DIYs, because that's what we do pretty much all day, every day, except for Sunday. All right, let's get this show started. We've got a basket, a dollar. Jamie had a specific reason for buying these baskets, and I can't even remember what it was, so she'll have to explain it to you. Well, we recently got a whole bunch of kitchen towels in the shop, and so they look really cute rolled up and displayed in a basket. And I like the baskets that go down at an angle because then you can see more of what's displayed in it. So for a dollar, I thought that would make a really great display, and then I'll probably put a price tag on it for 10 bucks, so if somebody wants to buy it, they can. So maybe when I go do like one of my mini runs to the shelves over there to grab paint, I will show you, I'll go grab some bath, uh, some towels and show you what this looks like. All right. Um, also, I think we had like a chair that was outside that we forgot to bring in. Maybe we'll show Oh, it. yeah. I'll, okay. I can grab it if we have time. All right. All right. So just a tray for display. This is $3. It's, I'm pretty sure it's resin. I don't think it's metal. Yeah, it's resin, um, but it's got fun little detail on it. It's not super big. It's probably about 13 inches wide by about eight or nine inches. Zeb picked it. Zeb and I had, so today we had to take the two little boys with us. We had So some, we had uh, separate carts to try to keep the boys with us, but they love the thrift store as much as we do, so the boys wandered off. Well, they have a huge aisle that's just filled with like donated toys and stuffed animals, so they spent a lot of time in there. Somehow we got home with two new stuffed animals. Somehow. They got a bath. That's a the worst thing that happens with stuffed animals. The rule is if you bring a stuffed animal home, you have to donate a stuffed animal. Brene says she loves that tray. Stacy says hello from BC, Canada. Deb likes the tray. Um, let's see. All right, so I got a couple of these vases. Um, the smaller ones have not necessarily been selling, but I'm going to make matching tops for these ones. Um, and they're just various sizes. I think with the matching tops, they'll do better. And then from now on, I'll only get bigger ones because the big ones went like that. Well, I didn't tell you that when you were at the store that the small yeah, ones you didn't say fine. that. But I also think the ones with the turned top sell better than the ones that we kind of made ourselves. So yeah. from now on, he'll probably just turn all the tops because by the time we assemble all those pieces, you'd have, you could have the top turned. Oh, for sure. If you don't know what we're talking about, we have a couple videos showing Zeb turning tops for glasses that we thrifted. So the little one was a dollar, the big one was a dollar fifty. We'll sell this one for around probably eleven, twelve bucks and fourteen to fifteen, depending on how cool the toppers turn out. Yeah, it's it's yet to be determined how cool they actually are. Alright, I'm gonna put them over this way so they're Okay, yeah, that'd be great. So somebody was asking, I missed who it was. Let's see. Kai wanted to know how we felt after all that physical labor. It was actually yesterday. Um Zeb put the video up this morning. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, I, it was I, way more work to do the demo. Demo, like hauling well, buckets was of debris hot out. When we were doing the demo yeah, too. demo was by far the hardest thing that we've done as far as like intense physical labor goes. So, but yeah, if you haven't seen the farmhouse video, we have an update video that we put out this morning. Um, so go check that out if you want to keep up with the farmhouse and what's going on with that. We got it wasn't super exciting, but it was at the same time because the step after this means that we get to start putting flooring on. Well, by flooring, he means like the wood floor, not like flooring, not like the pretty floor. Yeah, that's flooring. <laughs> Zeb might seem a little slow today. He's been up since 5.30 because Odelia, <laughs> my cute little cheerleader Odelia also loves herself some science. And she had a science competition today and her dad drove her at 5.30 this morning. So he's dragging. And little. then I went and finished editing the video. <laughs> yeah, because you're a trooper. All right. So a $2 rolling pin. These are $11.95. This one, I really like the handles on it. They kind of had a nice little curved detail to well, them. Well, $10.95. Oh, $10.95. $10.95. So we usually sand them and clean them up. We paint the edges and then we sell them. This, is, this has like Play-Doh or something on it. Yeah, it looks like, or like paint. Maybe it's We'll slime. sand that off and uh, I'll seal that up with probably some hemp oil and because that's nice and food safe. So. Tony says she stopped by the shop today and loved everything. All right, so 
maybe it was Tony, maybe it wasn't. We have a doorbell camera and somebody came in through the door and they said, I'm not gonna buy anything. And they were with their husband and I texted Zeb, because I don't like check the cameras, but when the doorbell alerts me somehow, so I'll peek in. And I alerted to Zeb, I was like, oh, they think they're not gonna buy anything. So I checked back later and sure enough, they bought a candlestick. So if that was you, Tony, you tried. <laughs> <laughs> a good, good selection on the candlestick. <laughs> yeah, it was the one that was like, I think it had some sort of name on the bottom, if I remember correctly, it wasn't painted. Yeah. So this is a small little tote. We've got some springy Easter decor for this um, in mind. And I will show you guys that in a little bit. We'll get to this at the end of the video. It was a dollar, but I like the, the, the construction on it. Probably just like a little shop <laughs> it project. It was, Tony. <laughs> nice. Good job, Tony. Way to, uh, way, to, way to keep your husband happy with a small purchase, but still go home with something cool. I love it. But, uh, so we'll show you here in a little bit. We're going to do some stenciling on this, and I have some things to add in there. I know, that looks like one of those projects you go to Home Depot, you know, the kids make with the orange. I love them. I love those projects. <laughs> with the orange uh, aprons that they get to wear. All right, this is a dome, square dome with a copper top. And I don't know that, it, it, I feel like the copper is simulated. It might be like a tin underneath. It, it has a couple of issues. I might have to glue that down. You can see it kind of raised up there. Um, so it's little braided wire is coming off in a couple places, but I'll glue that down with con some construction adhesive and that'll be good as new. This was three bucks. We got to find something to set it on. Uh, I might make something. Well, usually we like set it on something, but then we'll sell them separately. I don't know if we'll put it together, but for $3, just as is, it, once we clean up the glass, it'll probably work somewhere around $20. Glass domes are rather expensive. So at like nineteen ninety five, it's probably cheaper than something you're gonna find at like a high end boutique. Well, and when we were at the Vegas market, the square copper lighting on brass lighting is huge right now. So this is right on trend with like modern farmhouse style. I love it. Oh, Sally Bonswell, nineteen ninety nine. It rained in Phoenix today. Oh right. What was I watching? They were oh, talking it about rained it. a lot in Phoenix yeah, today. Is it like random? rained a ton. There goes the rolling pin. It rained a lot in Phoenix today. It was like monsoon type rain. You guys got a bunch of rain. All right, three dollar jar. It needs a good scrubbing. It's very cloudy. So if somebody wants to know what percentage of items do we buy that we keep for our home. Currently, we're not keeping anything because we Zero. are hoping to move in a few months. So all of it lives at the shop. And what will happen is once we get into the house and I start decorating, I just come to the shop and go shopping and pick out the things that I want to decorate with. The weather's getting warm and we're about to go crazy on the farmhouse. I, you know, this foundation's almost done and I got the get it done fever. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to get it finished. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad that you've got that fever. I'm like the get it decorated fever. I'm ready to decorate. Is that a thing? I'll, you know, we've got your bathroom finished so that you could decorate My that. Just go, so just go dusty. clean it because it got real dusty from all the sawdust from me sawing in there. So go clean it and go hang out in there for a minute. You'll feel good again. So all we're right. not going to leave the top this color wood. We're probably going to paint it and give it a fun color. Well, I love the base. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like this really light blue green, which is really pretty. So I think we do a fun top. And I was thinking about wouldn't it be fun on the top to like paint it a dark gray and then stencil a number. I like numbers. I don't know why. Numbers are great. Yeah. They're really good on jars. Yeah. One, so that's two, what's going to happen with that. It'll sell for probably like $14 after we paint. And maybe 12 Somewhere in there. Matching set. I'm, I'm guessing this has some break, some breakage on it. So I'm going to sand it. It's not, it's not too terrible that they're unusable, but someone probably was like, oh, that's broken. I don't want it anymore. I so said. we will use it and we will sell it here. We got to clean them out but they're fun. I don't think they're cut glass because it's not sharp. It's, I think it's just uh, cast. So. I just thought they were really pretty and delicate. They look good on a formal table. So Heidi said I look gorged tonight. Thank you. I was asking Zeb before I came on because I took a shower late in the day. I let my hair air dry and didn't do anything to it and he said it looked okay. Yeah. It was good enough not to put up. <laughs> looks, looks good to me. Yeah. <laughs> All hair looks good to me. <laughs> I knew that. I, I was laughing ahead of time because I knew that that was coming. He knew my joke was coming. Mm -hmm. my, hair, my hair joke. You know, I find that if I laugh with the people, that I don't get laughed at. <laughs> All right, this was a dollar. 
And I, I picked this out just because these are fun for, uh, for, they're great for stamps. They're just like the perfect size for a small stamp. And they fit down, they'll hide like a nice little topiary. They'll hide the little, uh, the planter part of it. And then the topiary pokes up out and it looks really good. I like it. So Colleen had a really good idea for that um, glass with the wood top. She said put a glass knob on it. Oh, that would be cool. I think it's a fantastic idea. And I think we have like some random, maybe it may not be clear glass, but we have a bunch of like onesies, twosies kind of knobs that are enough for a dresser. So that would be really good. Thanks, Colleen. I like that idea. So this does not have its lid, but Jamie got it anyway. Well, it's because you can plant in them. So we've got some paper whites that are planted and tulips that you also planted this spring and they look great. They're and earned. And people want to buy it, but they don't want to pay me for like the bulbs in it. Everybody wants it less expensive. So my thought was I'm going to put it next to the bulb so they can see what you can do with it. But then this one will be cheaper because it doesn't have a lid or the bulbs. I paid how much for that one? This was $2. $2 and it's totally worth, I mean, I would say 12 to $14 the way that it is. It's pretty cool. And I think it's got a maker's mark on the bottom. Yeah, but I could not tell what there it was. There is no it's, way. It's very smudged. But I love me some iron Maybe stone someone will know. that's going home. Maybe you'll, someone will know just by the shape of it what that was. Let's see, Zeb, maybe you could shine your head up with some hemp <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Okay, Tammy says, hello from Sandy, Utah. Hello, Tammy. Noelle says, drying dulls your hair. Your looks so shiny. That's because I only blow dry my hair like once a month. <laughs> so this was a Jamie find. We found this stoked. out in the yard. This is fantastic for, it's kind of, kind of like an older style on the way it's shaped and cut out. And it's got five little vases in there. That were not broken. Sometimes yeah. when you get to the thrift store, it never arrives alive. I mean, was it like three bucks or something? Um, yeah, three dollars. Three dollars. I sometimes don't understand the thrift store. Like I found the coolest thing and it was eight dollars. It should have been four. And this should have been eight dollars and it was three. So I went ahead and bought it. This will sell for at least twenty-five dollars. Because it's if it was just a shelf, I wouldn't, but because it comes with those glass jars, I'm gonna wash them. And get them all cleaned up they actually have like a fun thick bottom that's like looks almost it's uneven it's, it's uneven it's, so it almost looks like maybe hand yeah possible i don't know but it's really cool and i'm in love with it i will definitely get a new paint job because this one's kind of been worn but it's, it's like a very drab green yeah but it's dark and i love that because i can put a light color over the top to stress it back and it's gonna look amazing yeah all right let's see Tony says she loves that. Um, let's see. And Caitlin's answering questions. Let's see. Uh, Ariana says I love that piece and that price. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't pass that. And then Barbara says she used to have that soup tureen. Nice. And Stacy's dad says God made a few perfect heads. The rest have hair. I have heard that before. <laughs> I have heard that. So, uh... Look what I ended up coming back with. I even on. though, even <laughs> though I got told no several times because I haven't done anything with my other purchases. That I have you on clock this. restriction. Remember, we have to keep each other in check. But he snuck it in at his cart, and I was like, "All right, you're cute. You can have a clock." It was four dollars, <laughs> which is even more than I would normally pay for this little guy. But it does something. But special. look at this. Woo -hoo -hoo. Apparently opening up for a secret compartment is very exciting. For it's people. got some little hooks in there, you know, hang some stuff. But uh, man, I love, I, I don't even know that it's that secret because you can see the latch over here. I just love little cubby stuff. So Anna, if you want to get really close to apothecary with milk paint because it's food safe for that high chair, just mix half and half Sweetie Jane and Pantry Door and it is almost spot on with apothecary. It's one of my favorite combos. All right, everybody likes the clock. They're with you. Four dollars for the clock. I'll probably paint it up and not put a ton of effort into it, you know. Paint it, clean the, the glass face here, throw a new battery in it, and we'll probably sell it for like 13 or 14 maybe. It's not that I don't love the clocks, okay? Don't, don't get it's me there. It's I'm not it's doing anything not, with them. They're not going anywhere. Like They're, they're just, still sitting over they're there. They're collecting. <laughs> I'm building you a house, all right? I know. I just have to say something about it, and then you usually will get to it. Kind of like those glass jars you were collecting, I and know. then you eventually turn the top, so. All right, guys, look at this little guy. Awesome. Char hand silver lining says secret compartments are always uh, well, awesome. 
So this was 75 cents. It has its seal on there. Uh, we'll just clean this up and put it with our other jars that have this, uh, I don't even know what this style clasp is called. It shows you what I know. I, we just, we actually have like a little area in the shop with a bunch of those jars and we just put them together. Was it like 75 cents? Yeah, I just so that's really like the like size. Item. And let me tell you about the 395 items. Like the price point isn't high, right? But we're tripling our money. It, well, a little more than tripling it when we take a 75 cent item and sell it for 395. And people come in all the time. They're not really looking to buy anything, but when they find something that's cute at that price point, they almost like they can't leave without it. Yeah. So there's somebody who maybe wouldn't have bought anything at all, but because there was something cute in a low price point, they'll buy it. Or sometimes kids will come in to buy presents for their moms or whatever. So having things in a variety of price, price points is good. Um, Josie Ford Style Vintage gave us a $5 super chat. Oh, thank you, Josie. That's milkshake money. Okay, so these candlesticks are kind of Art Deco-esque, maybe mid-century modern even but the color's right and i found one and i was like eh, i don't really want just one but then i was in like three aisles over and i found this one mike and so i just i ran back and got it i had to have the set they they're were what, pewter yeah they were they're pewter they were a dollar fifty each we'll probably sell them for like four, four yeah four or five bucks a piece and uh they're cool look at that it's like a lightsaber hilt. The bird makes me look like alfalfa. The bird is always on the top of my head. We're going to have to move that somewhere. Joe wants, is wondering if you'll start painting that clock tonight. Um, we might. I have, I have plans for this tonight, and I've got another one over here. And I might have to paint this just to show Jamie that it's going to get done because she's like, whoa, that's way too ornate. We were in the thrift store well, having a, a, a discussion about this. <laughs> well, it's not. Wait, is it missing a foot? No, it has all its feet. There's three. Oh, well, what? What's it? It's got a price. It was on clearance somewhere. It was on clearance for four dollars, and we bought it from the thrift store for five. <laughs> I just saw that. So we're it came from the Hobby Lobby, is what it looks like. Hold on. I don't know. So originally, wait for it, thirty nine ninety nine, and then Hobby Lobby marked it ninety percent off because nobody wanted it. It's because it's a bad color. It's not in right but now. But we paid five bucks. So this, I, this I'm, dark moody color is not the thing. I'm a little sad that I paid a dollar more than it was on sale for a Hobby Lobby, but the original price was 40 bucks, so I guess five bucks is not too bad. It's really heavy. All right, so this, this I don't Sally think- Sally says it's not her jam. Sally, you're right. It's not mine either, but I'm gonna paint it and bring some of this coppery tone back that's right here along the edges, and we will see. Maybe I'll get to this tonight, just so you know um, I don't have to eat crow all weekend. I'm sh I don't. I I have faith in you. <laughs> um, the show seventy eight. If you want to mail something to us, if you go like you, on my Instagram is probably the easiest place to find it. The shop address is there. It's on all our you YouTube go, videos. Yeah, if you go to the description box in the YouTube, the address is there too. So either way, or if you just Google Jamie Ray Vintage like for directions. The address pops up but yeah the shop is where everything goes so if you have any more questions you can dm me okay so we have three little trays and i want to say that they were probably like soap trays or something the star is not working for our decor but and the coloring is is kind of eh. but what are those like little I, lunch trays i'm gonna paint them up and use them for like uh like i'm gonna pitch them as like a, you soap know trays? jewelry while you're washing your hands you know, yeah, you could do a little cute little stencil in there. You know what I like about these is they have this texture on yeah, them. Yeah, they have a really cool texture. Which I've texture. been kind of obsessed with texture. So when you paint them and you distress them, they're going to look really good. I mean, they're not too bad. They're just a little, like, early 2000 Americana right now. Joe, we do have really great thrift stores up here. And the one that we go to in particular is very busy. Very busy. They get a lot of donations. So they're shipping stuff out to other stores. So we usually get first pick on the cool stuff. And we it's funny because we see a lot of like the same people every week. They kind of become our friends. I'm like, hey, Lynn, how's it going? And I don't know if you guys know, well, before we took over the shop, we shared a space with Molly. Molly's mom is there like every Saturday. And so I told her mom, I'm like, look, if Molly doesn't ever treat you right, you come over to my side and she's like i'll let molly know that but molly's a sweetheart so i know I that's gonna happen it's never gonna happen because <laughs> molly is sweet but i just told her i'm like if you ever need to you know get a little leverage just say hey jamie's been making me offers because her mom's a great picker she found these like this big antique scoop today 
Yeah, I didn't even see it. And it was, she was so like, good. It wasn't a reproduction or anything. I'm like, how did you find that? And I missed it. Yeah, she's got a good eye. She'll, yeah. she'll walk around for a good 20, 30 minutes and not have anything in her hand. And then you'll see her checking out. She'll have all the good stuff. She's like, eye on the prize. All right. <laughs> so what do we got next? Okay, so these were 75 cents. We'll probably sell them painted for around $5 a piece. And I think we might stamp them or do a stencil on them, like a little one in the middle. Little but not a star. Stencil? Not the star. All right, next. Okay, I'm gonna make a square top for this because I thought it would be cool. I'm real into jars right now and glass and it's always fun to do stuff with them. And this was probably gonna sit on that shelf and I'd see it for the next 18 weeks and no one would buy it, so I saved it. We're trying to like give life to the things that just aren't moving. Pam said that they have a good DI in Los Angeles. Ooh. So maybe we'll have to check that out next time we're in LA. Pro tip. Ooh, I haven't been to LA in a long time. We're due for a trip, although now we've passed the winter time and we gotta wait again until next winter. I think in next fall, I'm gonna take the kids to Disney. So this was a dollar and I'll do a topper on this and probably sell it for about 10 to 12. It takes me probably 10 to 15 minutes to turn a top for it. And I'll just do like a square base and put the top I on. I thought you were like at three minutes. It depends. When I'm creating things from scratch, sometimes it takes longer because I'm like, eh, eh, and I play around with it a little bit more. Zeb likes to turn wood like it's like therapeutic. Like if it's not for, if it's like for an order and it has to be something specific, it's a little bit different. But when he gets to be creative, it's kind of like something he enjoys. So this is Jamie's decorative piece here, and this is my decorative piece here. I feel like I won a little bit. Two reasons. Because it's taller. Mine's taller and. Someone dropped yours and then sanded the top flat. No, they didn't. They totally did. That is not, that is the finish that that came with. Mine was $3. How much was yours? Mine was priceless. It was four. It was four. See, there you go. And <laughs> how much was it originally at the Hobby Lobby? It was, oh, $44.99. $45 for this. What are those Hobby Lobby? What was the sale price from Hobby Lobby? The sale price was eight ninety nine. Forty four ninety nine. That's more than that other thing. We're probably and gonna awful sell this. I got it for four. We'll probably sell it for like sixteen or seventeen if it turns out cool. If it doesn't turn out cool, it'll be like. Well, I feel 14. like this was easy for me to like see the end result because the actual paint finish isn't that bad. I don't hate it. So yours was three dollars, and mine was four dollars. Between them will probably come out at about $30, $35 once they're painted for both. So the one on the left looks too much like a Hobby Lobby one. Melody thinks you won. Glass knob on Jamie's. Jamie won that pick. Stacy likes mine. Stacy's liking all your stuff. I feel like she needs to come hang out with you. Well, maybe Stacy's <laughs> my friend and you don't know it. Leticia loves it both. She's very, what is so, it? So the one is gonna it get- Swiss that's neutral, the Swiss? Yeah, it's with the Swiss. So the the one that I got is definitely going to get painted. It won't stay that dark color. So these are fun. These are... These are from Diane. From our friend Diane. Diane. Or was it from... Yes, because Diane just came to the shop. This she actually big. a whole box of stuff that I haven't gone through yet. But these ones are awesome. And I'm not sure... And it's got like a ceiling tin style top. Yeah. She bought those at DI because that says five bucks on the bottom. We'll probably sell like the big one for probably $25 because it's huge. And the other one for 20 but I was thinking these would be great to put some IOD molds on because they've just got a lot of flat surface that's begging for detail. Yeah. So. Yep. And they're cool. Do we all play video games? Zeb does. I do like, I, I go in spurts. Like I'll play for like a week and then I, you won't see me for like six months. This is a really good question. Cindy wants to know if Marketplace has affected our sales. I use Marketplace to drive my sales. I post pictures of the shop all the time and we get people in on the daily that have seen my photography of the shop online and come in because of it. So I, I haven't had any problems with Marketplace. Another handmade tote. Someone put some tin on the bottom, rolled the top. I'm loving it. Um, I, you know, the stuff that's handmade that we get from the thrift store, the shop projects, are the things that really help make our shop kind of stand out and make it unique from everything else. Because you're just not going to find this anywhere else that's got like this shape and the metal on the bottom. And it's got a little rust in there already for us. It's just, it's great. I love yeah. it. Yeah, no, they did a good job. And Zeb can build these um, particular like 
totes, but not for two bucks. Like for two bucks, like the wood and the metal is more than that. Yeah, no, and and somebody's shop project lives on. Yep. Um, let's see. Somebody said, well, "Oh, about Disneyland." Yeah, Disneyland went up to like two hundred bucks a ticket, which is kind of sad day, but you just gotta save your pennies, and <laughs> then you take the kids like once every four years. So this was a dollar fifty, and it's a very bag of various wooden parts. I got it because for a dollar fifty, I felt like this wooden egg, and then this tiny little candlestick, and this little finial top, and another tiny little candlestick, and another little finial a top. Block of wood. Now we don't even have enough of these blocks of wood. We have a couple of blocks of wood, and this piece here was worth a dollar fifty. This is why I bought this. I thought for these it was, pieces here. I thought it was for this MDF turkey. The MDF turkey that was cut out by some CNC looks like. Yeah, that What about the tongue depressor stick? Actually, stick someone... Stick your tongue out and say, ah! Someone cut this out with probably a scroll saw from the looks of it. This yeah. is This was hand cut. That's a lot of detail. But there's there's all kinds of letters that I, we probably won't keep around, but someone painstakingly cut these out by hand. They said put one of those finials on my piece. Good idea. <laughs> you yeah. guys think that we do this live to share with you, but really it's because we want your we want your collective brain. So the pumpkins and the turkeys and the the Thanksgiving decor is is probably gonna go. Maybe I'll re donate it. I'll take it back. But I needed my bag of stuff. We do that just so you know. Every now and then stuff does find its way back. Like everything that we thrift doesn't work or we'll be like, oh, I don't have time to get to that and that's just not going to work right now with the shop aesthetic. Denise says it's never too early to stop thinking, start thinking about Thanksgiving. I think, about, pie. I think about Thanksgiving on a daily basis. Well, Zeb started eating sugar again, so I think Ooh, you probably threw me under the bus there. Pie. I did. I started eating sugar when we went to Vegas. There was an Irish pub that we went into for dinner and they had a snickerdoodle that came out in a skillet and it had like a caramel whiskey sauce on the top with uh, whipped cream and I had to have some and I did and I loved it. He's been off the bandwagon ever since. Although it's all right. I do have to say that Zeb kept, is keeping it in check. So I feel like the year away from sugar. I went for an entire it. year without drinking anything with sugar, eating anything with sugar. like. The most sugar I got was like maybe from a slice this? of bread. Yeah, that's that kind sugar. of sugar. Yep. Um, well, before I was gonna say something before I got distracted by that. Oh, somebody said those candlesticks. I missed the name, so I'm sorry. They could be used as a weapon, like if somebody comes in your house, kind of like the bat big. you keep under the bed. If you come into our house, you better be ready for a beatdown. <laughs> so this is a toolbox that had a specific size tool, probably some sort of saw or drill. It's Black & Decker. It's actually pretty heavy duty. Um, it's almost like a rolling toolbox gauge on the metal. It's older. Jamie's going to paint this up. You won't see the Black & Decker anymore. And we haven't quite decided what to do with the inside. But it has these different compartments. Couldn't I think that's get, all right. Could, you could get rid of them too if you wanted to. Couldn't you use your little thing? Well, so on that toolbox that we did for the stamps, I just I just took a pair of pliers and worked it until they snapped off. I think that if you could get rid of the middle one, that that corner one would be okay. But then it'd make it the corner one's small. cool because you could put like a nice fun divider stuff in there. But we'll figure something out. We might take the center out of here. I might end up grinding it out. Who knows? Won't spend a ton of time on it because what are you going to sell this for all finished? 25 bucks, 30 bucks? I don't know. It depends on how awesome it is. They want to know how much weight you lost from not eating sugar. Oh, I lost... Um, Here, give me that because I'm going to paint that tonight. I lost about 28 pounds. I had started, even not eating sugar, I had started to gain a little weight through the holidays because I was just eating all carbs. kinds of carbs. But... Um, working at the farmhouse really helps keep it off. I was at 241 when I stopped eating sugar and now I'm, let's see, I'm back up to like two, I go between 218 and 220. He's more fun when he eats sugar. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I do eat sugar, but I keep it in check. So I will be like, hey Zeb, let's go get, it. oh yeah, you don't eat treats. So now every now and I'm like, you want to share a milkshake? <laughs> Check this out. I can't tell if this is handmade or not. It looks handmade, and I love 
that the knobs are off center. Usually I'm all about the center, but check that out. They're so, just all crazy and in and they're not in eyes. order. Hold on, let me see that. Don't don't worry about it. I think I think painted white and then wet distress the detail back through because it's got like this fine detail around like trim, metal trim around the drawers. I'll yeah, wet once... distress that back and I think this is gonna be they're they're real shallow, so I'm guessing jewelry is about all you could keep in this. Or screws. Mm, yeah. Deb wants to know if I still keep chocolate in my nightstand. Yeah. It's funny because all the kids know it's there, but they don't really get into it that often either. Like occasionally every now and then Jack will have a mouthful of chocolate with it drooling out the side. I'll be like, did you get in my drawer? But they're pretty uh, good about it. Underneath the DI sticker, this was $4 by the way, there's a made in India sticker. So probably not homemade, but probably handmade. Um, so that'll probably be about $15 painted up. Not going to take a whole lot of time or paint to paint that. The little Mac says, please put the knobs in the right place. I The knobs are, they're are screwed they in off? from behind. Oh, well, hold on. What if you, can I see it for a second? Can you see that? Like... There's a screw. They're screwed in from behind. So I would have to like re-drill. I was wondering if I can make them less. Well, that did, that did, that did help a little on the top three. But that one's way off. It's whimsical. It's okay. Oh, they don't fit in the other drawers. Yeah, you can't. The deck one was handmade. Yeah, it was handmade, so like the drawers fit where they fit. All right, put it back. That's enough on the drawers. We'll figure out what we do with it. They said it'd be a good pen drawer. Uh, Carts and Billy says her eldest son just ate all her plums. At least it was a fruit. <laughs> All right, little box going away for now. We'll get that painted a little later. Well, this is a good uh, tip. Lonnie said that I should post pictures on Google for the shop. She has over 51,000 views in less than five months. We usually get about 6,000 views um, searching January Vintage a month, but um, I haven't put pictures on there, so that is actually a really good idea. Some yep. Google has actually found some of my pictures on social media and put them on there. But it'd be good to have more, so I definitely want to check that out. All right, so this was two dollars. It's of the brass variety, looks like. It has a ring on one side, doesn't have a ring on this side. I'm thinking either A, I'll get rid of this ring and leave it, or I'll find so you can find rings like this uh, at the hardware store. I'll just pick up a couple little rings. It was two dollars. And we'll probably sell it for seven or eight. Well, what was your plan? Didn't you say you had a plan for that? Because I was like, why did you buy that? Not that it's bad. It's just like, I we have a lot be, of brass. I thought it would be cool with like a, like a couple little bulbs in it. I thought it was big enough a bulb would fit, but maybe not. A bulb? Might, bulb? Oh, like, oh, never mind. It's like you're making a, I thought you were making a light, like a light lighting bulb? picture. I was like, that's interesting. I could. I see a lot of cool lighting pictures <laughs> out there. I'm like, ooh. It's fine. We'll find something to do with it, even if a bulb doesn't fit in. This is Jamie's little uh, garden baby holding some sort of huge basket. Our Angelina wants to know if my shop is ready for spring. I like pastels, so pretty much my shop is always ready for spring. But yeah, we are bringing out some more spring colors and things that kind of remind people of that situation. Um, so this was... $3 from the thrift store. TJ Maxx thought it was worth $29.99. And I'm thinking it's worth $14.95 with a new paint job. Yeah, paint it up. We're, we got a lot of $15 items it's in there. It's got, today. you know, it, it's pretty modest on the front. It's got, you know, drape here, but on the back, there's, there's a little, a little bit of bum crack. So, you know, it's not for the faint hearted, but cherubs, that's what happens. <laughs> So, Noelle says last year or the year before when I started getting the cherubs, Zeb was like, yuck, and now she's seeing them all over the place at craft fairs. I call it the trend. <laughs> I just bought them because they're funny. So, I'll let, you, I'll let you show the next item, but I want to tell you guys a story. When we were in Idaho, do you guys remember when we found that little Duck Dynasty, Psy, um, Psy from Duck Dynasty's, uh, it was like an incense burner, but I actually think it was the Chia Pet, but anyway, we pet. painted it in and, and gray and white waxed it, made it look all farmhouse. We've had it since the shop opened. Nobody's bought it. Somebody came in last Saturday, and that was the only thing they bought. <laughs> they're like, ooh. <laughs> they is came that in, sign? and they asked Lauren, they're like, is that sign? And she's like, it is. And they're like, oh, we can't leave without it. I knew that there was going to be one person that had to have the farmhouse guy from Duck Dynasty. So there's my story. 
All right, what do we got? Okay, birdcage. This was hiding way in the back corner of the yard area, which is kind of outside but covered. Well, they put it where they would put actual bird cages, you know, the kind that had a bird in it. This is just for look-sees. No birds ever lived in there. You could probably use this as a real bird cage. Probably, but it's home decor. And it was only five bucks. And bird cages sell like crazy. We'll either keep it as is or we'll spray it white because painting this would be a pain. Yeah. And um, it'll probably sell for around $25 in the shop, maybe 30 it's a pretty big bird cage. Yeah, it's, I it's love it. All right, we have something big to show you. It's a shelf that was $10. And it looks it, like it was made from like a headboard. I think it used to be a Is headboard there too. A cop out there? Oh, yep. Somebody yeah. was speeding. Someone got pulled over out in front of the shop. Our shop's on Main Street. It's a busy street. Okay. All right, so this used to be a headboard. And someone did all the hard work. made a shelf out of it for us and put these cool glass knobs that are on here. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see the whole shelf trying to get it in. And they added the, the corbels. There we go. That's pretty much on there. They added the corbels. The corbels are homemade. The top part has been routered. Or no, there's trim on the top. It's missing its trim on that end. And then they cut this to shape because this used to be taller and bigger. This has all been hand cut with a jigsaw. Um, but and I know it's for a bed because there's slits in the back for the railing. So the top used to be down here. Yeah. This used to be, it. the bottom used to be the top. So, but anyway, that was $10. We'll give it a fresh coat of paint. That's at least 60 bucks for the new paint job. Yep. And people love those here, especially for like their entryways, their mud rooms by their garage door. All right, we got two more things to show you and then we're going to get to painting and doing some stuff. So Jamie found these nesting tables. There's two of them. And this one used to have some sort of slide that pulled out. The slide is missing. If I can replace it easily, I will. It looks like it's just three quarter inch wood. So I might just get some pine three quarter inch wide and uh, run it in there. But this one is in really good shape. And it's got the leather inlaid on top, which you can totally paint. We use DIY paint or milk paint with Bond all the time on the leather. Sometimes it'll crack a little bit, but I love when it has the embossed design because that usually shows through. Yeah. So leather tops, you can totally paint the leather with any of our paints that we, we carry, which you can find at jamierayvintage.com. Yeah, we haven't mentioned the website yet. <laughs> Go to jamierayvintage.com for all your painting product needs. Thanks for joining us. All right. Now to get to painting small stuff. All right. When you paint leather, do you distress? Yes, yeah, sometimes. I've Usually done, a wet distress. I've done it quite a few. They're talking about that they watch live PD. I don't know what that is, but it sounds interesting. Well, I think... Right, it's probably part. like the show Cops, like, what you gonna do? What I you gonna do? I think officers, like, you. record all their stuff now, so... How much were the nesting tables? Oh, they were $20. Oh, forgot and to tell we'll you probably that. sell them for like 60 or 70. They're pretty popular. And they're small enough that like, I love projects like that because the gals at the shop love to paint because we're a small store. I mean, they could go an hour or so, so without seeing somebody. And so we have them paint for us. And so they like smaller projects like that that they can get to in between customers. All right, brushes. I am going to need those Lysol wipes over there because this has definitely been in somebody's garage. Oh, are you going to paint that right now? Yes, I am. All right. All right. I'm going to paint it aviary. All right. So I'm going to be using DIY's paint. DIY paint will stick to metal, and this isn't even shiny, which means it's going to stick super good. Do you have a white swan over there? Um, right there? Yes. That would be this one. Okay. Oh, are you gonna? Are you not gonna paint your clock? I'm. I'm gonna paint a few things right now. We're gonna. We're gonna paint a bunch of stuff up. All right, I'm just gonna clean this up with DIY paint. You don't need any prep. And it looks like whatever this is, there's not really any prep ridge. is in like sanding. Yeah, you just gotta clean it. You do want to clean it. Um, and you only if it's super shiny, then you need to sand. But it looks like there's not a ridge here, so that should not show through. If, if it was going to show through my paint job, then I would probably sand it smooth, but... Is it... It's like it's really pa It's thin. painted on. It's painted on. And it's not a lot of paint It was probably all. enamel or something. Jamie, you love the stencil. Can you please stencil Star Trek The Next Generation on his t-shirt? I'm going to have to send him one. <laughs> I could buy him one on the Amazon. 
I will. I'll get myself a Star Trek shirt because I do watch enjoy Star Trek. Trek. I watch I've been, it. I've been watching. But I have a lot more Star Wars shirts because you know what? Star Wars is owned by Disney, and they're real good at promoting themselves. I thought you can get Star Wars shirts everywhere. Um, I have a table with a leather insert. How much bond do you use? I usually use like half of what the thing calls for. I think it's two parts paint to one part bond. Um, or you could just use DIY paint as is. It'll stick to that leather really good. Easter stencils. So we should be having, I'm not using uh, new stencils. These are spring ones from last year, but we will have new stencils coming out. I was going to do a big release all at once, but my graphic designer has been out of town and is a little bit behind, so I'm probably going to release the Easter stencils, and then we'll release um, the new stencils for the year because we have a ton of designs. All the things that people have been like sending me, well, not all of them, because I get pe almost on the daily people send me requests, but lots of the things that people are requesting over and over again will come out. Did you see my little toolbox like that one I made from Shiplap? I don't know if I did. Um, was it in the Jamie Ray Vintage group? Parts and Millie, Tarnia. Oh, no, I haven't seen that one. You have to tag me in that one. All right, I think I left a, I left a screwdriver over here. Did you move it, sweetie? Uh-uh. What are you trying to open this? this? Can you open it? There's a good chance I can. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right, next, I need a paintbrush. I grabbed a whole fistful of them. All right, thank you. Okay. What's the difference between top coat and wax? Top coat is a liquid, and wax is wax. Um, wax, wax doesn't like hold up to heat as well. Top coat's shinier, wax can be buffed. Wax um, does really well like on furniture, but not as well like on a dining table. I would use like a top coat. I guess that answers it. And wax always has to be last. Wax needs to breathe. Oh, Carson Millie said it's on her YouTube video. I am way behind on my YouTube watching. I usually catch up on Sunday when I'm supposed to be napping. And usually while Zeb is napping. I'll, I'll be look. sure to check it out with her tomorrow. Tomorrow I have lots of uh, like meetings and stuff. Or what I work with a youth that we got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. Okay, old stage furniture um, says, I love to buy boxes and paint them. Are we getting Easter stencils? Maybe. There's going to be a mini set coming out, so they're Easter and spring together. Um, let's see, Jamie, what size paintbrush do you use the most? Probably this size. This is the DIY brush that's synthetic. but it's the um, number then, 12. Well, it's the number 12. Well, for the paint pixie i don't remember what it's called for the diy i paint. think if you search number 12 on our website that will still both come up are you sure yep i don't know this is the diy one caitlin's got them tagged but she'll know for sure if caitlin's still on or ivy they can link it mostly i just use whatever is clean we like the number 12 because it's got kind of an oval shape so it'll still do a little bit of detail but if you need to paint like a whole dresser or armoire or hutch or something it goes so quick because the brush holds a ton of paint this could be locked too it has a little yeah loopy do there gotta protect your tools on the job site yep all right i'm just gonna do we have the heat gun here yeah i'm gonna stencil the top of this one i haven't stenciled anything for a while i gotta make sure i haven't lost my stenciling skills i'm sure you'll be fine or I won't. If not, just paint over and try again. It happens. All right. I should paint the sides too, but I'm going to stencil. Oh, Noelle, welcome to channel membership. Noelle, make sure you're hitting up community. If you scroll back, you'll see links to our live videos and this month's printable. In community, Ooh, you're going to see... Another printable coming. Yeah. In community, you're going to see posts that I post for everybody to say, see. And then some of them say members only. And those are the perks that you get for being a channel member. And on that note, channel members, we got a video coming Tuesday um, at 10 a.m. And then we will also have another printable. I'm hoping to have it done Monday. If not, we'll have it out Tuesday. But I hope to have it done Monday so I can show you in Tuesday's video. Okay, so I'm just going to let this dry. That's one coat of DIY paint in White Swan. I'm going to let this sit over here and dry for a sec. 
and I'm going to paint this guy here. If you've already waxed it, you need to either wait till the wax is fully cured or you Which need to remove it time. with mineral spirits. It's like 30 days yeah, plus, depending on humidity. Yeah, because wax needs to breathe. And on humidity. it's never recommended to paint over wax. Okay, what size French cleat do we use on windows? Oh, one's Three. about that big. Usually three to four inch cleat. If it's if it's a big window, like we have one hanging in our living room, I have a foot long cleat on that one because the window weighs about 60 pounds. If you're gonna put hooks on it, you might wanna put more than one cleat or just a big one. Sweetie, what did you say the heat gun was? Oh, well, we have it here. Oh, right super chat from Carts Millie, just for you guys being you and so supportive. Thank you. And Cobweb Afternoon says, hello, beautiful people. And then Jana says, I think aviary is on my next order. Aviary is awesome. It's like this perfect mossy farmhouse green. And it's one of the colors that when DIY came out with their new colors, it was the color I got to pick. All right. All right, they're crossing their fingers for you. That it's going to be good. Here. It needs to go under because I don't want to drag oh. it before. Well, then you'll have to All right. grab it Hold underneath. On. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Zeb, do you recommend getting, uh, Zeb, where do you recommend to get a scroll saw? Ooh, um, so I have just a Craftsman scroll saw that my mom had years ago. I don't even know if she knows I have it. Uh, She's maybe, gonna know now. Maybe she does. Um, I've had it for years. I got it when we were living in Tucson. Um, but Craftsman, I mean, you get mad when Harrington borrows your church shoes. You took your mom's scroll saw. She hadn't used it for I years. Like I the, use my church shoes every week. I feel like the apple maybe doesn't fall very far from the tree. The only reason I think she doesn't know I have it is because she... Uh, you were giving my baby a hard time. But there's, there's a ton of brands out there. Um, so it's kind of hard to gauge what's good. Skill makes a good little scroll saw that's inexpensive. Um, there's also WEN, W-E-N, I like them for, uh, they make good quality stuff that's, especially if you've never used one before, maybe get an inexpensive one, that way you know if you like it or not, get used to using it, and then you go get yourself a real nice one that's, that can do more production style work if you, if you think you really need it. Caitlin, they do sell milk paint in Australia. You can get sweet pickings there. You cannot get DIY paint. The only way to get DIY paint in Australia is to have me ship it. Um, I like Grizzly Tools, Laguna Tools. Um, so there's several good brands out there. Some of those, Grizzly and Laguna. Grizzly's going to be middle of the road quality. Laguna's going to be kind of higher end. Um, also, Jet is higher end. Also makes a good quality product. Um, but but you you might even find... Like if you go down to Home Depot, you're probably going to find a Skill or a Ryobi will be your options on those. Um, possibly DeWalt, but I actually don't think I've ever seen a DeWalt Skill Saw or Scroll Saw, Scroll. Hot so. Afternoon says she showed our videos to her mom who's in her 80s, and she's shocked that people can make a living off of painting junk. <laughs> My mom's in her 80s too, but she believes it because I've been painting junk for a long time. But sometimes Jamie will paint something and her mom will be like, really? Really? She's actually like, stop second guessing me. You know what's funny is she's, she's telling me like, I don't like all that old stuff. And then now I do it and she's like, oh, I like that actually. I think it's just showing people like, how to piece it together to create the look. Like if you just found one piece on its own, you might not get the idea of what the design is going for. But when I feel like when you see a well put together the design and space, it kind of makes sense, you know? So this is the, the I think it's the number eight, the Joy Paint Pixie brush, and it's, where's your number 12 that you had? They say that Lowe's carries Craftsman now. Yeah, Lowe's does have Craftsman. Stanley Tools bought Craftsman from Sears when Sears went under. So Stanley now makes Craftsman tools, just so you know the, the hierarchy there. So you can see the difference in size between the Joy brush and this is the Joy and the the big number 12 or the DIY brush. Um, I, I need to learn the name of this brush from DIY because it has a name. There's like 452 of them. It's hard to keep them all straight. Oh, Mariah's on here. Hey, Mariah. Hello, Mariah. They had the flu at their house last week. Yeah. Last week. She looks like she came out alive. 
I knew it because we were texting back and forth today. So I'm using the Joy because it's actually working pretty well. It doesn't do quite as well as, um, as this French tip that I have here for detail, but it's good enough and it'll do the flat surfaces really well too. All right, I'm just making sure I didn't miss any questions. Oh, Janet Bouton says $9.99 Super Trap for the farmhouse. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. All right, I need um, the uh, stencil brush and that mat over there. Could you hand it to me? So I'm going to be yes. using our Magnolia stencil. You can't really see it. You'll see once it gets on here. Um, every, like, I haven't used it. I don't think hardly at all. <laughs> Look, the back of the mat didn't get cleaned. Sorry, we'll just look to the other side. Um, but I've seen people use it. I'm going to have to put this right here. I don't, know why. I don't really have anywhere else to put it. All right, you got a wide project. You were, you were trying to hand it to me, but I don't have anywhere for it to go. Yeah, put it over there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it over there in that pile of stuff. Oh, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh, I've seen people use it and it's really good. So you can pick these stencils up at jamierayvintage.com or if you go to JRV Wholesale, we have a retailer map and we have retailers in Australia, Canada, Germany, and all over the US. Can you pass me a stencil brush? Yep. Thank you. If your retailer doesn't have what you want, because we have so many stencils, they can generally order it in for you too. So always a good option. I'm using a JRB stencil brush. This is the number 20, I believe. It's the biggest stencil brush we offer. And having the right brush makes all the difference. You also want to load your brush up with paint and then offload. If when you stencil, you start to get paint underneath, that means you're not offloading or you don't have a good enough brush. It also helps that these stencils are super, super thick. Um, my manufacturer, when I made them, was like, those are like cement stencils that construction workers use over and over again. I'm like, yeah, I have a lot of people that use my stencils over and over again. They got to last. So they've been really good. One of the things I get told over and over again is that the quality is great. So that makes me happy. Let's see. Heart Foundation, first time saying hello in chat. Hello, Heart Foundation. Hi. Um, Seb, do you ever use a router? My son sold those cutting boards he made and used to money to buy a good DeWalt router on Marketplace. Ooh. Oh, I love that, Stacy. That's, That's great. That's awesome. And yes, I use a router every time I make a corbel with a top that's on it. Um, we also use it to edge all kinds of things. Sometimes yeah, like this shelf. Sometimes you get a dresser that needs it. So like if we plank a top on like a nice buffet or something, I'll router the edge on that. There's so, so many uses for a router. So good for him for up spending the money on a tool upgrade. That's awesome. Our kid would be like, I'm going to go get myself some food. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're at Cal Patin, new channel member. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you're hitting up, oops, community. Did oops. you get white paint over there? Yeah, I'll fix it later. That's right. <laughs> Hit it with some aviary quick. Also, if you want to know about our basic channel membership, if you just search like Jamie Ray Vintage channel membership on YouTube, we have a few videos. We have not done a video about our business coaching level yet, but we have been doing lots of business coaching and that has been really fun. I was a little nervous when we started business coaching because I don't have a background in business coaching, neither does Zeb, but he does have a background in retail management, so that, I guess, helps a little bit. But it's been good. Welcome to Play Says We Make Painting So Fun and Easy. Yeah, I told Zeb today, I'm like, if it becomes like, like work, I don't want to do it. I just like to have fun. <laughs> Sometimes I have to do the hard work, but I don't like it. Every now and then you have to do some clerical stuff and sign some paperwork, but for the most part we have fun. I mean, we woke up this morning and we're like, yes, we get to go thrifting for work and find cool old stuff that we can change and paint and make it look better. I used to have a somewhat of a shopping addiction, but I feel like this job really fulfills my need for shopping. Sorry, if, if this is making your dogs bark or your cats think there's somebody knocking, I apologize in advance. Look at this, guys. I'm going to paint the bottom. What? Real quick. I don't even know who you are. I'm just going to slap some paint on it. I'm almost done with this. I'm painting the bottom of this. Two reasons. It's small, and it might sit up on a shelf up higher because of its size, and you might be able to see that. Unlike a huge dresser, I'm not going to paint the bottom of a dresser. All right. Can you guys see that magnolia there? I like it. All right. Next, I'm going to use our fresh cut flowers to mark it one, and I think I might 
Hold on, I gotta do this. I might do this kind of off to the corner there and then fit that in there. So I think I'll leave the inside yeah. dark. It's not really painted, it's just black inside. So I'm gonna leave the inside yeah, I alone. Leave the inside of that. Cause that'll be a pain painting in there with the brush. Sorry and guys, I'll get back to comments soon. I'm trying to focus. Stenciling is not my natural ability. Zeb is much better. She likes to say that, but she's she's really good at it. Mm, until I know. She's good at it for like five minutes at a time. There you go. Ta-da! <laughs> right, until her attention span leaves. What you talking about, my attention span? It's amazing for multitasking. This is true. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'll make sure this is right side up. Yeah, okay. Because this goes with... Really all right. Okay. So this is the fresh cut daily flower mark and blooms. When I'm done, I'll show you what the design looks like all together. I'm also not going to paint this. I'm going to leave it black to match the inside. I don't know why I don't use the magnolia one more often. Nope, that didn't help. No, it's just going to be loud. I guess you don't, you don't know. I do know. I think that, did that movie I was just, you were stay at home dad? Yeah, Odelia and I watched it a lot. <laughs> so I was a stay at home dad for two years. While I was going to college. Part time. No, I was taking 15 credit hours. Okay. They're mostly from home though. Well, just because it's online doesn't mean they're not credit hours. That's true. I did mortgages in case you're wondering what we did back in those days. That was our newlywed days. Like oh, that's impact. cool. Yeah, that turned out really good. Boom. Okay. And now it's not a toolbox anymore. She says they bet that I got paint on my sweater. Yeah, I did. Every just time. Just a little bit, but the thing about DIY paint is it washes. If you off. don't let it, if you don't let it cure up, or if you don't heat set it, like if you, if we go home and wash that right now, it'll it'll come out. Yeah. If it's really highly, let's say you get like, uh, hey sailor on a white shirt. Yeah, if it's, you get black on white, you're done because it's super pigmented. There may or may not be a little bit of black paint on one of my white um, drop, what is it? Not drop cloths, slip covers for my couch. But it's kind of not noticeable. Sometimes I have to edit it out in photos. Where did my white green paintbrush go? Is it on the other side of this? Um, yes, I was showing people oh, the okay. size. Old Stage Furniture says it's our Mississippi flower. So here's the thing that I always think of magnolias. So there's the movie Steel Magnolias. I don't know if y'all have seen it. That's one of my favorite movies I watch with my mom a lot. And there's that part where they're arguing over whose magnolia tree it is. And I always think about it. Like, we have not decided whose magnolia tree it is. So I always think about that every time I see or hear about magnolias. I guess I should probably think about Chip and Joanna from Fixer Upper, but I always think of Steel Magnolias. My favorite part of the movie when they're like, take a whack a Weezer, we'll sell t-shirts. Now that you've heard that line, if you haven't watched the movie, I guess you have to now. Yeah, the, it, out of context, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really sense. make sense. Okay, so one coat. What do you um, guys think? Anna says, now I have to order the Magnolia stencil. I didn't know you had that. I've had it for like a year. <laughs> I, well, like the Jamie was saying, we have a lot of stencils. All right, so I'm going to let the first coat on that dry. It's going to need two coats. It's a little streaky. This, I think I can get away with just doing a quick distress on it. And I'm gonna stencil some. Uh, I'm gonna stencil something cool on here for spring, and then I have some other things that I'm gonna put inside. I've been secretly withholding because I think it'll be cool when it's all done. You guys better hold your breath because he's gonna bust out something awesome. It's gonna be mind blowing. Mind blown. Maybe not. It's already 9:30, so you gotta blow their minds fast. Okay. I mean, oh, I'll grab it. I can Sally it. says looks better than I thought. Oh, you have a little faith, Sally. Or are you talking about Zebs? 
Yeah, my, my thing. I think your thing looks amazing. Everybody will agree that the flowers on the toolbox turned out great. Well, I love that what once was a Craftsman toolbox. Uh, Black & Decker. Our Black & Decker toolbox has now been made into something very, like, feminine and springy. Like, who would have thought? Okay, so you can use a rag. This is just a uh, disinfectant wipe because we, we use them because they're super handy. They said don't forget to paint the side. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, she's, she's coming back around. If I don't catch it tonight, I'll catch it next week. Or Monday. Oh, or... That's, well, next week is Monday. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> Too shy. Because right, I can't paint all the things on the live video. My days all blur together. Stacy says, the first time my mother-in-law and I watched Still Magnolias, that scene made us laugh so hard she peed her pants. <laughs> Nothing like bonding with your mother-in-law over peeing pants at a funny movie. Old Stage says she has two magnolia trees in her yard. The flowers smell so sweet. Um, can, Zeb, can you recommend a type, not brand, of router? A type of router. I like a good plunge router, just because you can make holes with it and then go. But a fixed router is also really nice because you can put those on a router table. So it's kind of, it's, ah. it's hard. They do different things. If you just could get one, I would probably get a fixed router. They're easier to use and they, uh, you can do all the trim kind of style work with it and the detail around the edges. Asking Zeb to pick his favorite tool is like asking him to pick his favorite child. Because I don't like have he one. needs all the tools. I need all the tools. <laughs> And they all, they all do different things is the hard part. Like, some can do multiple things, but they all do different things well. All right, I got to get to going. All right, so they said, how do I store my stencils? I store them in a big toolbox, and they, it's like a flat file, and they sit in there. But in the shop, we display them on an Ikea metal, um, like, I don't know what you call it, like a metal ribbon? It's a, it's a cable. A metal cable. It's like and a, we have little clips. It's like a shower curtain hanger. So if I had a craft room and I had space, I would hang them that way the with the, belt. what? The black belt. I would hang them with the Ikea metal uh, cable with the little clippies because then you can see all the ones you have. I have to dig through my flat file. All right. I'll show you guys up close in just a sec. I'm going to use part of a stencil that says fresh eggs on it just in time for spring. Oh, uh, so... Doreen Ray, what's that name for the character one of Louis Lamar's books? No, my brother Tyrell Lauren was. Nope, he was named after one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Her, his parents got all kinds of biblical on him. My dad was teaching seminary. And like an obscure tribe, the one that nobody ever talks about. My dad was teaching seminary and he was teaching in the Old Testament. And it came up and he liked it. And so I got it. Hey, there's nothing wrong with clocks. What kind of heat gun? This is TAC Life, T A C K Life. I think you can get them on Amazon. You can also pick them up at your local hardware store. I haven't really noticed. They much sell them at, it's a brand they sell at Walmart. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, shoot. I should have masked my thing up. What happened? I got, I got fresh where I only want eggs. You mean I didn't make a stenciling mistake, but you did? I thought you were the stencil king. Not tonight. You have, been, you have lost your crown, sir. All right. Yeah. It's all right. all right. See that? I messed up. What color green? This is DIY's aviary. Let me see that heat gun from you real quick. What? Is it? Hold on, I gotta grab that handle good. Just don't, it's the, the tip of that is still hot. I'm watching. I just have to dry the bottom. I'm gonna paint the back. Janice says I win. Well, that's not done yet. Really, we both win because we oh. share the company 50 50. So I, we both take advantage of the skills we have. 
What wood lathe would you recommend for small projects such as lids and candlesticks? So they sell. I use the uh, General Electric lathe from Harbor Freight. Still, I I keep telling myself I'll get a new one when it dies, and it hasn't. We have a CNC machine that so, we do it. Yeah. But we don't. So I mean, if you're they, they sell a small one if you just want one to go on top of like a workbench. All right, let's see. But mine is a 12 by 36. Uh, I think they're about 350 bucks from Harbor Freight. How much is the toolbox and to ship? So the toolbox is $24. Oh, I would heavy. have to weigh it to ship. It's heavy. It it's might be heavy. more to ship it than it is to... Oh, yeah. It, it's probably going to be, depending on how far away you are, like 20 to 30 bucks to ship it because it's heavy. Heavy, heavy. Although, if you do want anything that we have tonight, you can email lehighshop at jamierayvintage.com. It's always in the description box, and Caitlin usually drops a link. We do ship quite a bit every week from the shop. Eventually, I'd like to have a home decor website, um, but that is probably a good six months to a year off because... Projects got, like that are like on hold until we get the farmhouse done. Yeah, exactly. I need more of Zeb's time, so we gotta wait till he has them. Don't wanna take on more than I can chew. So I went, I had to grab a smaller stencil brush because I don't really feel like masking right now. So yeah. that worked perfect to not get this all over. And you guys can kind of see like, see how light it dries and how dark it is on the brush. When this color is sealed, it's gonna be somewhere between the wet color and the dry color because clay paint dries lighter. Normal paint will generally dry darker, so. All right, now a little sandpaper. How close is aviary to gypsy green? Do we, I don't know if we, gypsy, gypsy green, green is, is more like brown. Yeah, it's darker. Yeah. All right, let's see if we got any more questions. I think we're about done. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish this. Give her a little distress. Yeah, I decided that I didn't want a wet distress because that would have really blended my colors together, I think. Oh, for sure, that black. Yep. And you don't, you don't wipe with your hands. You blow. You blow or you because, use your pant leg. Because this paint is really pigmented and if you wipe with your hand, okay. it will smear. So now it says fresh eggs. I used the fresh egg stencil, which also comes with these cute little chicks and some small flowers, which the flowers are cool by themselves too. Um, but I just used the fresh eggs part. And the wooden egg I picked up today, wait. I have more. Wait for it. He has more eggs. We thrifted these a little while ago. And we haven't done anything with them. But you could probably put real eggs in here too. But probably not at the shop. Because, like, if you get fresh chicken eggs, you can leave them out for a long time. They don't go bad. They don't on, wash off the protective membrane. They, they don't go bad if you leave them out on the counter. Do well. Depends on how you scrub them. If you scrub them and wash them with soap, then you need to refrigerate them. All right. Okay, there we go. I would put something in the bottom to raise those eggs up a little bit, but now look at that. I kind of feel like wouldn't it be cute to put some flowers in there and then put the eggs kind of dispersed between the flowers? Yeah, you could with like some little little ones. Yeah, and I also think maybe paint them like uh, the light blues and greens of the eggs that the, with, our chickens used to light blue and green But these are, these are um, paper, paper mache, mache and this one's wood. There, I've got a plastic egg in here. We got all kinds of assortments of eggs. But well, where's the chocolate in those eggs? Uh, you're gonna have to go get some more eggs. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products used tonight. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. We're gonna have to come up with a different thing to say to surprise people. Why? I don't know. Why would you veer away from from something we've done? Love you guys. Forever? Have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Oh, look, he's bringing it up close. Well, maybe I should bring mine up close. Maybe you should. I think I feel like they can see how awesome it is from all the way over here. Here, I'll, I'll fly over real quick. Don't go too close. They might see mistakes. No, it's <laughs> fine. All right, now I'm going to hit the end button, guys. Good night. Bye. See you later.